Parkinson's is the second most common neurodegenerative disease after Alzheimer's disease. And we currently don't have a specific biomarker that can predict who's going to develop Parkinson's disease, um, as well as to determine who's going to develop cognitive impairment once somebody has a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. And there's, there's a lot of people that are looking at different types of biomarkers, either in the cerebral spinal fluid, which would require a lumbar puncture, um, or neuroimaging measures. And our focus has been primarily on blood-based biomarkers because it's less invasive, less costly, and it's something that could be used um, or tested serially for repeated measures if you wanted to determine the progression of the disease or to determine therapeutic risk. This is potentially a, a biomarker of PD or cognitive impairment in PD, but it also opens a whole new uh, opportunity to look at therapeutic targets within the pathway. Um, it's like anything else where the earliest we catch it, um, the better chance and window of opportunity we have particularly if we, if we can catch it in the preclinical phases of the disease, where maybe we can delay the onset or even prevent the disease down.